strain, fatigue, it's got everything. They haven't left. And it's only game two or three. You wanted it, you got it. They're all going mushy, mushy. Josh Little around the wicket. They saw should just be a single, not a bad result for Ireland. Now they have to think differently. Now they have to gamble Ireland. They need catchers in play and they need fielders in the circle. Will Balburnie be brave? Will he give Josh Little his trump card, a catcher at slip, and maybe an extra man in to save a single? Mushfiger going up to Taizul Islam, talking to him. I think it might just be Taizul who goes for it. Well, I think Taizul should just get bat on board. I think Ireland need a slip and play. I really do think they need a slip and play. If not for the catch, maybe to stop that run down to third for an easy single. Midwicket goes deep. That's out. That must be it. Right across in front of all three. Yes, said Paul Reynolds. He shuffles across Josh Little with good pace. Slams his shin and that, I'm afraid, is going to be plumb in front for Tajul. He doesn't bother with a review. This is a great wicket for Ireland. Josh Little, right on the money. Yeah, that's plumb. Right in front, Tajul. He has to go for nine, Bangladesh. 309 for seven. Shoriful Islam, who has had a day to forget. 83 off his nine, a drop catch that cost Bangladesh plenty. This is why he's here, plum. Fast, full, Tajal Islam shuffling across, bang in front. Left arm over. Umpire Reynolds said, yeah, you're gone. Both umpires again have had superb games. Paul Reynolds. Takes his time over his decisions, doesn't rush. Really good, Paul Reynolds. Adrian Holstock has been excellent as well, so officiating has been of the highest calibre. Now, Josh Little, still no slip. I'm sure he's thinking full and straight. Yorker, LBW. He could clean up a couple here with his extra pace. Shoreful Islam, tall man, must be thinking, keep out that Yorker. No, he's not thinking keep out that Yorker. He's thinking clear the front leg and pump your best bowler down the ground for four. Just a gentle reminder that he was the one in the previous match to hit a maximum, the only one from this side. So here's a reminder by hitting it downtown for a boundary. Well, I don't think anybody in the ground expected that from Shoriful Islam, let alone Alberni and Little and Co. That's a really good shot. Clears that right leg a long way outside the line of the ball. Gives himself free reign to swing the bat. Now seven from nine. What a game. Cracking, cracking contest. Long arm goes back. Midwicket comes inside the circle. Slower ball. Good change up, Josh Little. That is very clever, very clever, very well bowled by Josh Little, taking the pace of the delivery. Shoyful going for the big heave, missing it all together. Just 71, 71 miles per hour, that delivery. It is cold in here, especially under such circumstances, does feel cooler, way cooler. Playing a miss, Mushy wants one. Morgan Tucker, wow, wow, wow. Again, brilliant from Mushfiqur Rahim. 
sensed he needed a strike. Mark Tucker wasn't expecting the batter to take the one. That's good for Mushy. With that, he's going to try and clear this boundary. He's going to try and finish this game. This is brilliant. Look at Mushy. I don't think he communicated with Shorefoot. I don't think he wanted to give it away to the opposition. Very clever. Six now. Required of seven. Does he go for it in this delivery or does he take a single and retain strike? I think he's going to go boundary, otherwise he wouldn't have taken that single. I think Mushy wants a boundary here. Very clever. Clever Mushy. That is a very, very well played couple of balls from the keeper. 44 done, 5 to win, 3 1, 5 for 7. Five from five, five from six. 90 overs of cricket down to the last six balls. Mark Adair up against Mushfiqur Rahim, who's 32 not out from 24. Once again, the rest, the hopes of a nation rests on Mushfiqur Rahim's shoulders. What an innings. It's only 32, but what a 32. Third is inside the ring, mid on, mid off. Madon going back deep, a lot of protection leg side. Adair can't afford to go full. Well, he does. Risky, it's risky. Gets away with a mid off inside the ring. Cover up. Gets away with the Mark Adair. Five required of five. It is a nail biter. Oh, yes. Has it uh, gone down the wire? What? Of course. Mushfiqur Rahim on strike. It's all on to him. Well, he bowls full there, Mark there, and he gets away with it. So it's a dot ball. It's a great result, but it's so risky. If it squirts through cover, or if he Mushi gets underneath the ball and lifts it over mid off, Paul Stern, it's game over. Point, deep point inside the ring. Yeah, Sterling goes out. Bowling around the wicket marker there, so he cannot go outside the line of off stump. Otherwise, Mushy is very adept at carving the ball through the offside. The margins are so small. Really should try and slam it, maybe a middle and leg Yorker in, try and get Mushy tuck it leg side for one. He might want two, he might try and pinch it two. Here we go. Marker there, brilliant. Goes to that leg stump Yorker, that's great bowling. This is super bowling, coming around the wicket and straight away in the block hole. Just mitigating all that room for Mushfiqur Rahim, not giving away anything. Now then, Mushi, what do you do? Two dots. Do you try something different or do you back yourself with your original plan and say to yourself, I'll get one out of the middle, I'll get one boundary. Deep in the crease, full toss, full toss! Mushi gets good contact! check the ball they might check the height mushy wants a no ball he was deep in the crease he was a little bit cramped camphor takes the catch now then this is huge they're going to check the height was it above waist high from a normal standing position that's the question adrian holstock and paul reynolds are about to have that very conversation
both ways tie from Mushi. Curtis Camper with the safe catch. It's irrelevant. It's a no ball. One run. One run off that ball. And Mushfiqur Rahim is off the strike. He was cramped. He was deep in his crease. It is going to be, should be a free hit. It's unbelievable tension. No ball marker there. Free hit. And you must think, with that mistake, Mustafa Rahim has the opportunity with a free hit to put this game to bed. Incredible. Unbelievable scenes here in Essex. Cannot change the field, same batter on strike. This is unbelievable scenes, you cannot script it. Four to win. Mushfiqur is on strike. Cannot change the field, here we go. Mark Adair needs something special. Mushfiqur. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. A legend of Bangladesh cricket. A hero on so many occasions, has the chance once again to win a game for his country. Four from four in a mammoth run chase. Free hit. Paddle, Paddle, Mushi, you little beauty. What a player. What a way to win it. What a way to chase down 320 in a 45 over contest. It's little and large in the middle. It's a wonderful win for Bangladesh. A great game of cricket. Remarkable scenes. Unbelievable scenes here in Essex. Shamanai Gosh, you've enjoyed it. Talk us through your emotion. What a match, what a match, what a finish by Mushfiqur Rahim. With three more balls to go, Bangladesh win it by three wickets. In unfamiliar circumstances, conditions, weather, such chilly weather. They have gone across the youngsters. They have grabbed the opportunity with both hands. What a shot. This is improvisation. Four required of four, and he scoops it. He finishes it off in style, does Mushfiq Rahim, and they celebrate. This is a team on the upward curve. Bangladesh World Cup cannot come quick enough. India in October cannot come quick enough for the Tigers. What a team. What a bunch of supporters. Brilliant. Here we go. Let the celebrations begin at Chelmsford. Harry Tector, fourth ODI ton, fourth time on the losing side. Such a bitter pill to swallow. But Mushfiqur Rahim, I'm telling you, he's been there so many times. It feels like he's been playing for 30 years. Cool as a cucumber in the chase. Bangladesh, they never looked stressed. They never looked worried. Nazmul Hussein Shanto, 117. A brilliant knock. Bangladesh peppered with the ball, smashed to all parts by that man. 140 for Harry Tector, sublime batting. George Dockle, brilliant with the bat. Yeah, yeah. Mid ins, we thought, no chance. It's going to take something special. We got something special. Absolutely. What a chase. What a chase by Bangladesh. Just want to go back to Nazmul Hussain Shanto. When he came into the wicket, he had a smile on his face. So cool got their uh, metal tested Bangladesh and they have delivered they have delivered here at Chelmsford at Essex chasing 300 plus in 45 overs with three balls to spare they win it by three wickets the Tigers brilliant brilliant scenes from Bangladesh congratulations to Bangladesh on a remarkable historic wonderful victory each and every one of that squad can be extremely proud of tonight's win Second one day, it's National chasing a whopping 320. They've done it with three balls to spare. Tamim once again went early. Listen, threatened with 21. Nazmul Hussain Shanto, wonderful knock. 117 from just 93. Hidroy, beautiful innings, 68 with full of wrists and power. But at the end, little mushy.
once again as he has done so many times 36 not out wonderful chase six bowlers used for Andrew Balberni Josh Little picked up one for 63 Mark Adair bowled well but that final over cost him one for 52 Hume expensive George Docker was excellent with his two for 58 Camper picked up two but was also expensive Brilliant, brilliant game of cricket. The second one day international here in Chelmsford, Ireland played superbly well. They can't bat better than that. 319 for six in their 45. Harry Tector, cap off to him, 140 for 113. George Docker, 74 and out. I thought Balberni played nicely, but in the chase, 320 for seven. Bangladesh winning by three wickets. Shanto, 117. Mushfakir, there at the end, 36 and out. A cracking game of cricket, a brilliant win for the Tigers. It was a free hit, they needed four from four. He got the old scoop out. Tilakaratni Dilshan invented it back in 2009. 2023 here in Chelsea. Mushy, well played, well played, Bangladesh. We're going to have a quick break and we'll come back with the post match presentation.